So you've probably heard of this rune word, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's, it is probably the most overpowered rune word based upon the runes it takes to actually make it, and that is the Spirit Shield. Now this has everything from two to all skills, up to 35% faster cast rate, 55 faster hit recovery. It's got a bunch to three of the resistances. Unfortunately, it's missing the ever important fire res, but it still has so much stuff on it. It is absolutely incredible. Now, if you're rocking any caster in the entire game, any caster at all, this is gonna be best in slot for the offside here, opposite of your weapon or whatever caster weapon that you are using. So this is so powerful, so obviously you're gonna to wanna to get it as fast as you can. It does take just four lower runes in order to make it, so you can get those pretty fast, but there is actually a way that you can get those as fast as possible. You can get them all just in a couple of minutes, actually. And I'm gonna tell you some of my best tips today on how to get yourself a four-socketed monarch. That is the hard part of this particular rune word to get. So the first part we'll discuss is the actual runes you need to get it. Now, all you need is a Tal, a Thal, an Ort, and an Am rune, and they are incredibly easy to find. If you do find any of these on your playthrough, make sure you save them. If you do find a Tal rune, maybe you might be tempted to plug it into some socketed item to be either put on your mercenary to deal a bunch of poison damage or on something else. You're going to want to save at least one of these so when you actually get to hell and you get your four socketed monarch, you're going to have it there and you don't have to go farm for that particular one. And any of the other ones you find along the way, the Tal rune was just an example, make sure you save those as well. Now, when you get to the point where you're actually going to try to farm and find the ones that you haven't acquired yet. Now you're thinking they are all pretty low runes. Maybe you should just run normal Countess and get them all. Well, actually you can't quite get them all from normal Countess. So the earliest that you can really run them is Nightmare Countess. Also, if you are a beginner and you didn't know, the Countess actually has her own rune drop table. So every time you kill her, essentially anyways, she will drop you runes of some sort. A lot of times they're lower runes. So this is a great place in order to get runes to make rune words such as Spirit. Now in Nightmare, she can drop up to Ko and then in Hell, you can find up to Is From her rune drop table, she can technically drop higher runes based upon her quote unquote monster drop table. But for now, we're gonna talk just about her rune drop table because she will drop runes from that particular drop table every single time you kill her. Now, if you don't have any of these runes, you probably only will need to run her maybe five to seven times in order to get all these runes. They are pretty common to get. A little tip when you're running the Countess, when you're going down in the Forgotten Tower, in order to find the next way down to the next level, all you gotta do is turn left every time. It is literally that easy to tell where to go. You just go in and turn left. Down to the next level, go in and turn left. That's all you need to do in order to get down to the Countess. So after you knock those runs out of the way, you can go ahead and concentrate on getting your four open socket Monarch. This one's gonna take you a little bit longer to find. It's gonna be harder and you actually have to kill a bunch of monsters in order to get it. Now the number one best spot you're most likely to find this is gonna be Hell Cows. This four socketed Monarch, you're only gonna be able to find in Hell, so don't even worry about trying to farm somewhere in Nightmare or anything like that. You're not gonna find it there. Now, not only is it hard to actually drop a Monarch, it's hard to find a four open socket one. So what a lot of people do for their first spirit is they'll find just a plain white Monarch. And then you have two options from that point. You can take that white Monarch over to Larzik and use the Larzik socket quest in order to give you four open sockets in it every time. If you do that choice, bam, you're done. You got the four open sockets. Some people won't want to waste their socket quest on that particular item, so what they will do is they'll actually use the cube recipe. Now, in order to do this cube recipe, you need a Tal, an Amon, and a Perfect Ruby. Now, the way this cube recipe works, it'll actually randomly roll between one and six sockets. Now, the shield can only get a max of four open sockets, so if it rolls a five or a six, it will then revert down to the maximum number of sockets that that item can have. In this case, it is four, so you'll end up with four open sockets. So, with some very simple math, if you roll four, five, or six, they will all revert down to four, so that's three of them, and then one, two, and three will give you those number of sockets. So, you have a 50% chance to get four open sockets in a white monarch if you use this around cube recipe now it is a little bit of a gamble but it is just a coin flip and this is the way that a lot of people will go and that's usually the way that i will end up going because you don't get unlimited amount of large quests now there are some other places which i often will go and perhaps find the four open socketed monarch or a white monarch there and the first one i'm going to talk about here is aldrich and shank the good thing about this area is that you can get to it super easy you don't have to map read or nothing the monsters here all of the minions around eldritch shank are pretty weak they're only immune to cold which can be a dis 
disappointment if you are a blizzard sorceress or a frozen orb sorceress but they are pretty weak like i said and they are high enough level in order to drop a white or four open socketed monarch another place that i usually go if you are that blizzard sorceress or a cold sorceress is down in the ancient tunnels the ancient tunnels are a pretty easy area it's kind of well known for the blizzard sorceress to go there and magic find in general so it is an 85 area so you can find every single item in the game down there and also you do have a chance in order to get the white or four open socketed monarch now this tip does generally go with any single level 85 area in the game depending on what character you have maybe if it's easier for you to run the pits or if you like running the chaos sanctuary or like i said literally any of the 85 areas in the entire game maybe in the new patch you're going to be running places like the stony tombs or arachnid slayer well happy hunting out there i hope these tips help you out peace out and keep slaying